good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever case it may be. Uh, you're welcome to the, our next lesson, which will take us, which will take you through the day, or which, or which will end the day, depending on which day you are in at this time. <coughs> Let's try to review the previous lessons or the, the previous work which you had with our only lady in the department primary seven, Madame Annette. She gave the activities and um, I would like us to go through the activities she gave you so that you mark yourself. So for today, you are going to be a wonderful teacher of your own at home. Question number one A. The answer was 69, 69 square decimeters. If you have what you see here, mark yourself right. If you are missing anything, you are just about to get. Then B, the answer was 36 square meters. If you are missing anything from there, just put a cross and have that work corrected again. Number one C, I think we can go through Number one, C. You had a figure which looks like this. This is an isosceles transmission. There is a double max there. Then you had that which is seven. Seven centimeters. We had five centimeters, then eight centimeters. I think that was all. And we are supposed to find the area of that figure. From the formula you had, or from the formula we are supposed to use, is that area of a transition is equal to. A half height or a half times height into A plus B. A and B are the parallel sides of the figure. And that means 5 may be our A, 8 will be B, then the perpendicular height is going to be 7. That is a half times 7 centimeters into oh, we can have that 5 or 8 but for the purpose of uniformity I am looking for my desk uh, for the purpose of uniformity, let's have the short one to be 5 centimeters plus 8 centimeters, which is a half times 7 centimeters times the sum of 5 and 8 is 13 centimeters. Um, that this point was supposed to be five, but this is an odd number. That is an odd number. Let's multiply the numerators since all these are odd numbers. We cannot just yes, divide. Oh, it's not completely completely divisible by two. We are having thirteen times seven. Seven times three is twenty-one. Write one and regroup two. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 2 give us 9. 
So we have 91 out of 2. Now square centimeters. Because centimeter times centimeter will give us the square centimeters. Let's have this written as a mixed number. I'll divide this by 2, that it will give me 1. Then 9 divided by 2, 9 divided by 2, I will get 4. Because 4 times 2 is 8. 9 take away 8, we shall remain with 1. That means the remainder is 1. And at this point, I have 11. 11 divided by 2. 11 divided by 2. This will give me 5. Because 5 times 2 is 10. 11 take away 10 will make us remain with 1. So the remainder is 1. So that means my final answer is going to be 45 and a half square centimeters. If I don't want to use that, a half is the same as 0 0.5. I can have my answer as 45.5 square centimeters. So any of these two answers is correct. Then number three, part A, the answer or the area of that work is 90 square meters. Then part B, of course you just find the perimeter you add. I don't have the figure with me here, but I know you got the answer. You just add the sides and come up with 62. Uh, meters as your perimeter. So at this point, let's turn to our new lesson. Okay, let's now look at our next subtopic, which is still about area of traditions. <coughs> And we have this instruction that we use the figure below to answer the questions that follow. Here is our figure. This is a right angled trapezium whereby we have A, B, C, D. <clears throat> and the question here is that find the length of DC. Find the length of DC. If you look at this, you will discover that DC starts from this point. DC starts from this point, then goes up to this other point. So this is exactly what you want. Again, if you look at the figure critical, we know the distance from D up to this dotted point. And what is that distance? The distance is 6. So this one is 6 meters. Again, if you apply the common sense, which I know you have more than enough, you will discover that from this point where 6 ended up to C is not different from from A up to B. Now, if A up to B is 12 meters, that means from this point up to C is also 12 meters. And it is the same distance which is at this point. So I will transfer the 12. This 12 that you see here will come and I just put it at that point. So when I add this 6 to 12, I'll be able to get now the length of D, C. So, D, C is just going to be 6 meters plus 12 meters. Oh, I should count. That's 18. 18 meters. And that will be the length of D, C. Our length of this C is 18 meters. Uh -huh. 
Let's look at part B. Work out the area. It's still connected to our question number one. And basing on what you had from the previous video, it is still the same figure. A tradition which makes us to have the same formula as area is equal to a half height into A plus B. When you talk about the height, we mean the perpendicular height. The height which has a symbol of 90 degrees, the perpendicular height, not another thing. So, I'm now going to have my a half times my perpendicular height is 8. 8 meters into 12 meters plus the length BC that we looked for. This one here. 18 meters. This brings us to a half times 8 meters times we are looking at 12 plus 18 have your side work that will give you a 30 30 meters we now need to divide in your division I always say you need to work smart, you need to be smart this number is divisible by 2 8 is divisible by 2 that is the base of 2. If I'm to divide that by 2, I'll get 15. That means I'll have 15 times 8 somewhere. Then if I don't want to do that, I'll divide, I need to divide 8 by 2, which will give me 4. 4 times 30, compare the 2, which one looks simpler. 8 times 15, then 4 times 30. I think the 4 might, the 4 is simpler. So you need to be smart when you're doing your work. This is 4. So, what I'm having right now as my next step is 4 meters, which is here, times 30 meters. Mm, 4 times 30, that is 120, and I will have it as 120 square meters. So this is my area of that tradition. Let's look at number two. This is almost like a swimming pool. You start from the shallow part, the moment you learn how to swim, then you just go up to whatever point you feel you should go. Study the figure below and answer the questions that follow. Here is our figure. Let's study it together. According to the shape, it is a trapezium. We have PQ. From P to Q, we have 7 centimeters. From Q to R, we have 5 centimeters. From R to U, we have 10 centimeters. Then from U to P, we have nothing. We also have this Q using this dotted point and this letter H. Let's find out what takes place there with H. So that's our figure. And the first question is, find the value of H is exactly what we need to get. Find the value of H. What steps do we need to go through so that we get the value of h? I have this figure. Let's say I have figure A. There's figure B. Can I pull out only figure B to come up with what I want? I think we can try. Let me try. Let me pull out figure B. The way you see. The way you see. This is my figure B, figure B, figure B, figure B. Um, this point is Q. 
this point is r the distance from q to r is 5 centimeters what else this part is h we have two unknown we have this h and this part what steps can we take here to get the value of this length basing on basing on this arrow this one is telling us that from u to r we have 10 meters i mean 10 centimeters but from q sorry from p to q is 7 centimeters that also means that from this point here up to this point we have 7 centimeters but all of this is supposed to be 10 now what can i do to save them so that i get this remaining distance here what can i do to save them to get the remaining distance using 7 and 10 i think the operation which will take us through there is uh, subtraction to get this i need to have 10 centimeters take away 7 centimeters that will be 3 centimeters so if this is 7 this is 3 centimeters that means the whole total here is giving us 10 so it is 7 plus 3 to give us 10 so we have now divided 10 into 2 one part is 7 another part is 3 and if you look at the 3 it's supposed to come here There we are. We can now get the value of h. We can now get the value of h, and that takes us now to. We can have our a squared plus b squared should be equal to c squared since it is a right angle triangle now. Let's make the unknown b h. I mean, let's make a b our unknown. So I have h squared plus 3 centimeters squared should be equal to 5 centimeters squared I have my x squared plus 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters should be equal to 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters I know we went through this some times back so let's have it faster. 9 square centimeters, because 3 times 3 is giving us 9, then that. This is 25 square centimeters. Collect like terms. 8 squared plus 9 square centimeters. Take away 9 square centimeters should be equal to 25 square centimeters. Take away 9 square centimeters when we subtract what remains 16 16 square centimeters that is x squared but i want to get the value of h from your second lesson we went in for the square roots so i need to get the square root of x squared then i get the square root of 16 square centimeters and just in a short form the square root of x squared is h the square root of 16 square centimeters will be just 4 centimeters so the height of this figure is 4 centimeters In case you are getting a challenge at this point, that shows that you missed a certain lesson. So go back to lesson two, lesson two, lesson three, and you revise. Then you come back here. But if everything is okay, let's continue with the work. Now we are pushing to part B, and part B says, Calculate the area of the figure. 
This is the figure. Since we went through part A, then part B becomes a walkover. That is, area is equal to a half times height, or I can call it perpendicular height, into A plus B. That is a half times, where is my height? My height is represented by letter H. Uh, my H, where is my H? My H is 4. If you fail to get the value of H, then we should expect this answer to be wrong because a wrong answer, I mean a wrong procedure gives always a wrong answer. That's why I always say a rat produces a rat to produce a cow. So my H is 4 centimeters into my A is 7 centimeters plus 10 centimeters. So I have a half times 4 centimeters. Then times, of course, 7 plus 10 is giving us 17. The reason as to why we are multiplying this is just because of the brackets. We have simplified what is in the bracket, 7 plus 10 is giving us 17. Now to remove this bracket, we have to use this operation sign, that's multiplication. So this is 17 um, centimeters. So this is 1, 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. So I have 2 centimeters times 17 centimeters. Now, my area, my area will come as a result of getting the product of 2 and 17. So I have 17 times 2. 2 times 7 is 14, write 4 and remove 1. 2 times 1, this 1 here is 2 plus 1 to make 3. That means the product of 2 and 17 is 34 square centimeters. Ah, that's your answer. And suppose you have been told to find perimeter of this figure. Suppose you have been told to find the perimeter of this figure. What do you think? Our answer will be, of course, perimeter is a distance, total distance from a figure. I will have this 7 plus 5 plus 10 plus this distance here. What would this distance be? What is this distance based on our calculations? This edge, this perpendicular height is the same as this. So if this is H, this part will also be H. And if H is 4, that means this part will also be 4. So you just add the distance around the figure and you get your perimeter. So that has been number 2. Now let's go to the last example. And that is example number 3. Uh, our example number three is here on the chalkboard, but find the area of the figure below. Yeah, the figure looks like a corona bit. Sorry, I was about to say coronavirus. It looks like corona vehicle of primor. So this figure is called an isosceles. Trapezium. That's not bad. It's different from the first one that you had. The first one that you had was a right angle but because of oh when you sketch it yes because of that. But this one is an isosceles uh, a trapezium. Mm -hmm. 
there's only one question. What are the area of the figure? And you try to have the formula here. Area is equal to one half height into a plus b. That's what we use. We are supposed to use. I don't see the height. This is what the height is supposed to be. The height is supposed to be this. Even here, this is the same as that. But the thing is nowhere to be seen. Then A, A is okay. A is 14. B is 24. Then we have this 13. It's right. It's now the right time for us to begin scratching our head. How do we get the height? How do we get this perpendicular height? Let's think and see the best way of getting. I'm also thinking like you. Okay, let's try this way. Suppose we we follow this. Let's put this up down here. We we'll also push this one down. This is 14. This 24 is for the whole distance here. Now, if 24 is for the whole distance, but the distance from this point up to this point is the same as this. That makes me to know that from the 24, which is the total distance here, yeah? from this point up to this side is 14 decimeters. If it is 14 decimeters, then what is remaining? Let me write here, 14 decimeters. What will be remaining? I will have 24 decimeters, take away 14 decimeters. Um, 4 take away 4 is giving me nothing for 0. 2 take away 1 is giving me 1. That means 24 minus 14 is 10. Now, I'm aware. Right now, I'm very much aware that I have 10. And since this is an isosceles trapezium, the distance from this point up to this side is the same as from here up to that side. Whereby, if this distance is letter, letter N, if that distance is letter N, that means this one will also be letter N, because they're the same. And we now know that this is 14. It's a clear sign that this remaining distance should be shared between the two. And I will have to share it by having what I can say n. If I have n plus n, I should be able to get 10 decimeters. So 2n is giving me 10. Sorry. 10 decimeters. I should divide this by 2. That also by 2. Giving me 5. So n is equal to 5 decimeters. Now I'm very much aware that this one is 5 decimeters. This side is also 5 decimeters. If you don't want to go through this, just get 10 and divide by 2 to come up with 5 and 5. Here we are. We want to get the value of this. Can you easily see what will give us the answer for the height before you come up with the area? Look at the two triangles. I think this can lead us. This one here can lead us. Since it can lead us, then let me sketch it here. Let me sketch it here the way it is. Now this is 5 decimeters. I have edge. I have 13 decimeters. A good number of you have now known 
where we are supposed to move to next. We are going to apply exactly what we applied for number 2. So I have my a squared plus b squared should be equal to c squared. Let's make the unknown take the first point. So a squared plus 5 decimeters squared should be equal to 13 decimeters squared. So a squared plus 5 decimeters times 5 decimeters will give me 25 square decimeters. Subscript one step, that part of expanding 5 decimeters times 5. Should be equal to 13 times 13 is 169 square decimeters. Get to know the difference between 13 decimeters squared and 69 squared decimeters. I'm saying it's 13 decimeters squared because of this bracket. Then this one I'm reading as 69 square decimeters because the square is for only the unit. But here the square is for all the two. I'm now pushing up to h squared plus 25 square decimeters minus 25 square decimeters should be equal to 169 square decimeters. Take away 25 square decimeters. Um,
after you have watched everything. But before I go away, I have some remarks I want to make to you. One, I know the gadgets you are using have what we do not want to use always. I don't like you have a castrator near you or in that machine. Please don't use. Make side work. You saw me calculating numbers here. I didn't leave my calculator at any point, but I have very many. So don't use. Try to calculate on your own without using that machine. Point number two. <clears throat> Try to make constructive comments under the comment statements which we provided for you. Let the comment that you're going to put be beneficial to you and also to your colleagues. Otherwise, I wish you the best. Stay at home when while you're doing your school. Thank you.